Welcome to Pipeline Effects University. Today you'll be learning about Maya submission. Let's go ahead and open up Cube. First, we're going to install the in app UI inside Maya. This creates a cube menu inside Maya for submitting jobs. If you go to the cube menu, go across to File, Install App UI, and choose Install Maya App UI. You can see down here that it's installed successfully to the right location. Go ahead and open up Maya. I've got a scene already loaded. Now what's very important when doing network rendering is making sure that all your assets, textures, reside on a network mount. You can see up here that we have the cube menu. This is what we just installed previously. What we're going to do is submit a Maya render job. This is the Maya job submission window. Let's open expert mode so we can see the extended job parameters. You can see the range has already been pre-filled from the Maya job. For this demonstration, I'm going to leave instances at 1 as I'm rendering on my own machine. I'm going to tick render on all cores. This tells the worker to reserve all my CPU slots for this job. You can also set the number of threads. This is useful when you want to limit how much CPU is being used. Once again, make sure all your scene files and textures are on a network location. Many of these are advanced Maya settings like resolution, etc. The reservations have been set to 1 plus, which means to render on all cores. This is from the render on all cores tick box. You can also select your hosts and groups. A useful feature is the retry frame and instance. By setting this to 1 means that if a frame fails for whatever reason, it'll retry automatically once before considering it failed. Now we're going to set the defaults. This automatically closes the window, but if we go back to the same submission window, you'll be able to see when I open expert mode, all the settings that we just saved are still in there. Now all we have to do is click Submit. And you've submitted a Maya job. Let's jump back into Cube. We'll just wait for the job to start up. You can see there, the first frame is now rendering. For more information, visit docs.pipelineeffects.com.